Okay, I'm gonna be talking today about being a burden to a man. A man feeling like you are a burden can feel that in his body, that you are burdening him energetically. And this is very important to understand because so many women are doing this and they're pushing men away. They're pushing men away when they are energetically a burden. They don't know why it's happening. Um, and of course, a woman's going to be able to feel that, right? When a woman pushes a man away in any kind of way, when he starts to withdraw his attention, his time, his care, his love, a woman's going to feel that. And it doesn't feel good. It feels very unpleasant and can bring up a lot of anxiety, especially if a woman has a lot of attachment to that man. And this can be a relationship, but it can also just be um, at some point during the, the dating phase as well. And, and so it's very important for a woman to understand that, that the reason that a man is withdrawing, the reason that he's losing interest in her is because energetically he can feel her as a burden, right? He can feel that energetically. And it's not something that's intrinsic, right? It's not that, you know, you were born a burden in some kind of way, though, of course, unfortunately, there's a lot of women who have developed that belief. Uh, from childhood and in adulthood because of their experiences. They believe that um, they're just a burden wherever they go. And of course, that's going to cause a lot of problems with their self-worth and being able to communicate their needs and feelings and everything like that. Um, and, and ironically and tragically, it's that belief itself that causes men to feel that a woman is a burden, right? Because understand that for a man, right? Let, let's talk about, we're, we're going to talk briefly about what energizes a man. Because we can look at this on a spectrum. On one side of the spectrum, a woman is energetically a burden to a man. On the other side of the spectrum, she's not a burden at all. She's the opposite. She's an inspiration. She actually inspires him to do more, to be more, to become the best that he can possibly be. On the first side of the spectrum, she's weighing him down. Like she's actually causing him to operate way below his potential as a man, both inside the relationship and outside. And then on the other side of the spectrum, she's causing him to, to be much more um, like maximizing his potential. And to be clear, this isn't about blaming women, right? It never is about blaming women, but it's important to understand how your energy, how your behavior, how your communication is going to impact a man. And, vice versa, right? How a man's behavior is going to impact you as well. So, so, so what is it that causes you to be a burden to a man? What a lot of women believe, right? Their deep belief, typically stemming from childhood, is that it's having needs and, you know, having feelings. Those two things, needs and feelings, make them a burden to a man. And so when a woman has that belief, what's she going to do? Well, she's, and I'm probably going to do another video on this because it's a really important topic. She's going to minimize her needs. She's going to minimize her feelings. She's going to hide her feelings and needs, downplay everything, make herself smaller in a lot of ways so that she is not a burden anymore or that she's a smaller burden to a man. And this strategy can never work. It can never work because the reason that a woman feels like a burden to a man is because in one way or another she is in her masculine energy okay that masculine energy can look like being a really bossy boss babe control freak or it can look like being a very compliant soft spoken doormat who minimizes everything doesn't matter both are energetically masculine even though the latter on the surface tends to look more feminine. They're both masculine because they're both trying to control in different ways. And so that's energetically going to be a burden for a man. Men are not inspired by a woman who's in her masculine energy. It's just not the way that uh, a man's instinct instincts work, right? His, his instincts are not going to be activated. He's not going to be inspired. And of course, that's going to show itself in so many different ways. The way that women will control is all about controlling to get an outcome, right? And that controlling to get an outcome, that's all going to be based on the belief, the limiting belief, 
that a woman is, um, that she needs to control in some way to get her needs met, to get love, to avoid abandonment, because deep down she's not just intrinsically worthy of that, right? That's a childhood message. And then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy too, right? Because she believes that, and then she does all this controlling behavior to try to avoid abandonment, to try to get love. And then of course, the end result is she does get abandoned. She doesn't get abandoned by him breaking up with her. Then he get she gets abandoned because he um, he abandons her in his in, her, in his heart, right? Like she will feel the disconnect. She will feel the lack of love and desire to want to lead her and take care of her, and be honorable and in integrity and ease her burdens and all of that stuff, right? So minimizing doesn't work. Minimizing will never work because you're making yourself smaller. You're trying to make yourself less of a burden, but you're still being masculine. It's just a new, a different way of showing up in a masculine way. It doesn't fix it. So you need to take a new path as a woman. You need to become feminine. Instead of going from being too much to too small or too much to small, you need to go from being too masculine because basically, uh, you know, the vast, vast majority of the population, um, certainly in the West, but even, you know, I won't get into this, but even in non-Western countries too, women are too masculine. Okay. So you need to become more feminine and to be feminine. It's not going to be about minimizing because that's another control pattern is about letting go of all that control. That's how you become feminine is to let go of all of the control. The problem is, is that there's going to be so, so many forms of control, so many aspects of control, different control patterns that are going to show up and uh, and they're going to show up very unconsciously, right? Because it's going to be that need of trying to get your, your needs met and to try to avoid abandonment in whatever way. And the way out, there is a way out. Okay? There is a way out of all those control patterns. You might be able to do some work, you know, doing your some femininity course and doing yoga in the woods and masturbating in the woods and, you know, whatever, whatever women do to try to be more feminine, like dancing. Um, all that stuff is great. Right? I'm not I'm not knocking any but all that stuff is great to learn how to let go of control and, and get into your flow. Um, it's fantastic. But if you don't know how to communicate to a man. It's not going to matter very much, right? It's easy to be in your flow and have fun and all that stuff when you're single and unattached. But then when you get attached to the man, what happens? The control stuff comes up again because you got that attachment. You don't want to lose it. And so how are you going to let go in those moments? You're going to try. You're going to try your best to, you know, oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to text him, blah, blah, blah. I, I'm not going to initiate. I'm not going to plan anything. I'm, I'm not going to say anything when uh, when he hasn't texted me for three days and whatever. But guess what? You're going to go into that minimizing pattern again sooner or later, right? That it's going to be natural because you're controlling yourself by not saying anything, by trying to let it go and not say anything. It's not going to work, okay? A man's actually going to start to lose respect for you, lose attraction for you when you do that. The only way is to learn how to communicate. And you have to learn how to communicate in a feminine way because your needs do matter. Your feelings do matter. Your control issues matter. Your anxiety matters. All of that stuff matters. And it's not about hiding that stuff. And it, and, and yes, while it's important over time, that stuff will go away over time. And a lot of healing and a lot of love can help those control patterns go away. What's much more important is when those control patterns up instead, sorry, when those control patterns show up, instead of minimizing, you share, right? you share what's going on. You use feminine communication to explain what's going on. The communication itself, the feminine communication, it's going to help you energetically let go of control. Okay. And, and. When you do it right, you can, uh, 
want to say recruit. It sounds like the wrong word, but, or inspire. We'll say inspire. Inspire your man to help you, your man or your date or whoever it is, help you also let go of control by giving you what you need. What is it you need? Reassurance, clarity, consistency, him being more in integrity, uh, you know, a phone call at certain times, you know, letting you know ahead of time what's going on. Um, you know, taking over some kind of burden, whatever it is, there's tons of possibilities, right? There's a lot that you're going to need. It's only going to come from communication. That is how the shifts are going to happen. <sighs> communication is the key. If you don't get this, you're going to continue to struggle over and over again. And you're going to, you're either going to go into a minimizing pattern or you're going to go into an increasingly like abusive, loud mouth, yelling, uh, control freak, like overtly control freak pattern. And both of those are going to be a burden. Okay. So you need to learn how to shift your communication. That is the key to letting go of control and then going from being a burden to being a beautiful gift to a man, an inspiring gift because you're in your feminine energy. How are you going to learn to do that? Well, you start with our master class. Okay. Our next masterclass is in 10 days, and we'll show you exactly how to use feminine, uh, sorry, use feminine communication, shift your communication, and shift into your feminine energy, into letting go of control, and into inspiring a man to start solving these issues and helping you, helping you let go of control. How great would that be? You don't have to do it all on your own. You really don't. You just need to learn how to inspire a man to help you. And guess what? He will, because, but, well, most, a, a lot of men will, not every single man will, but any man that you actually want to be with that isn't a waste of your time, they will. And they'll give you the love and care and reassurance that you need. So next masterclass, go to relationshipyourdreams.com. You can also go to polaritymasterclass.com. Book your spot and I'll see you there. You're going to spend two hours learning exactly how to shift your communication and see it role played and then we'll answer your questions so you can start implementing these shifts into your love life right away and uh, go from whether you're minimized too much or too small into actually truly being feminine. Awesome. That's it for this video.